Hey, my friends, family, and loved ones, my free-flowing spirits. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing magnificent, actually. We need to really focus on coming into our divine aspect more. All right, and what I mean by that is uh, many of the habitual patterns that we can get stuck in in our human incarnation, they're actually some of the things that tend to keep us locked into our human essence more than anything else. Of course, we have the ego. The ego is the thing that anchors us to this world, and identifying with the ego is a major stemming factor for all of these habitual patterns. We need to come into our divine essence more so by allowing ourselves to break these habitual patterns, to be free of them, to surrender ourselves more to what is. It can be very difficult because as I spoke about in yesterday's video, even the people that we hang around and the type of influence that they have on us can also be a major contributing factor. We can't just ignore the fact that other people have energy that they give off and that we are subject to those energetic patterns just as though they are subject to our energetic patterns. The vibrations come together and mix to form this new wavelength, so to speak. That's why it can be imperative for you to focus on your own energy and for you to really, really hammer home the fact that it's very possible for other energetic patterns to bring your frequency down when you're on this path of awakening. And as I've said before, that doesn't mean you have to abandon everything in your life that you once knew and loved, right? It's in fact the exact opposite. Life wants to bring you more of what you know and love, but you have to, I guess, get out of your own way, so to speak. Stop being so apprehensive to what is. I've spoken in countless videos that we cannot be angry at what life gives us because each and everything is for our benefit. It's all ultimately working in our favor. So if we spend our time begrudging what we have been given, what we've created ourselves and given to ourselves, then how can we expect anything better to come from it? We're not setting our energy up, our vibrational frequency up to create anything other than that begrudging state that we're putting out. If any of you are familiar with Bashar, uh, if not, I would highly recommend you look up Bashar and his teachings. Um, but one of his universal laws is that what you put out is what you get back. So if you're putting out gratitude for what is, if you're being thankful and grateful of everything that's come to you, regardless of how the human form perceives it, then you will get more things to be grateful for, things that will actually raise your vibrational frequency higher to in a more natural rate and degree. Life is not suffering. Life is not struggle. It's very, very natural for life to bring us what we want. And it's very, very natural for us to be able to thrive rather than survive. It's our society and the way that we, the way it's so backwards that tends to make things so much more difficult and force us to believe that if we don't set ourselves up in a certain way, then we are going to fail. The fact that failure is even a possibility is proof that our society doesn't function properly. Letting go of the old ways can feel very scary, and that fear can be interpreted as pain by the ego. It can be a painful thing, but the truth is we're just scared of fear. We're fearful of fear. We need to stop being fearful of fear and learn to appreciate each and every new thing that comes into our life. And I know there's going to be plenty of things that you just, you look at it and the human, the ego is going to think, why should I be grateful for that? And you might not get an answer to that question for a very long time, but you are being set up in a positive way so that you can benefit from 
that in some way, shape, or form later down the line, even if it's through the lessons that you learned by enduring it. Furthermore, it's by enduring it that you're going to gain the means to achieve that which you want to achieve. Your goals are coming. They're just right around the corner. You have to not stop. You have to understand that it's all coming in its natural pace. Not the pace that the human you wants. The human you wants everything right now. The human me wants everything right now. Taking care of easy life, no more issues. But that's not the natural state of things. We each made the choice to come into this life of limitation so that we could experience it exactly as it is brought to us. We simply have forgotten that we're manifesting each and everything that appears in our life in real time. Let go of the human habitual patterns, of the human essence of you. And you don't have to drop all of it all at once. Many of our habitual patterns are very beneficial in the lives that we have set up. But trust in the abundance that is coming your way. Trust in the abundance that is there right now waiting for you, but that you're blocking from entering your life. Miracles are a natural state of being. As A Course in Miracles taught, if they don't happen, then something has gone wrong. And as we all know, if something goes wrong, we are the ones that must change in order to affect our external reality. So as always, be grateful for all that is. I feel like I've hammered this point home so, so, so much. And it's something that I still work on myself. But gratitude is key to growth. It's key to changing your external reality because it keeps your vibrational frequency high, but it also puts out that state of gratitude so you're going to get back things that give you more gratitude. It's an exponential growth. And it's there waiting for you if you would just let it in. What's one thing that you're going to start being grateful for now that you haven't been grateful for in the past? I really want to hear it. Leave it down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button down there because it helps me out so much in the algorithm. And I appreciate it so, so greatly. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell too because I come out with more as often as I can daily if I can help it. Links to follow me on all my social medias are in the description box below. I'd love to see you all there. Until I get a chance to talk to y'all again, be safe and be well. I love you. And remember, get out of your own way.